Hi, I hope that you have already think about the question from the last segment. So let's see the solution. Okay, so if you haven't think about it, please stop and then try to come up with the solution first or for a few minutes before just look at the solutions. So the idea is the same. So we we don't we don't know how to handle directly or count directly the subsets. Okay. But what we can do is to we can count the number of okay or the arrangement. Okay. Of size three. So how many are there? So the first letter you have six choices. And then you have uh, how many? You have five choices for the second one, and the th only four choices for the third one. And and in this number, we overcount the number of subsets, right? Because for each subset, say uh, subset uh, B, E, F, under this counting, you're gonna count it many times. How many times a subset? Uh, this subset can be. Uh, counted in inside this okay so uh, the first way you can count it like this BEF or BFE how, how many are left uh, e b f e f b and finally F B E and F E B so that's uh, six ways, and this is true for every subset. Okay, if you pick a subset of size three, and you can you can rearrange it in six ways. So the number of uh, subset that we are we care about of size three is this divided by six, and that's twenty. Okay, and 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 you know what what this six is from? Okay, so this six is from something, right? Okay, so let me look at a really general example. Um, so we given a set of n objects. How many subset of size k does s have? Okay, so it's the same thing, right? So instead of having the the actual set, okay, we we have some some sets of n objects. So you can think of this as one, two, up to n. N, and you want to pick k of them, right? So, if we count the number of arrangements, so you get this many number of arrangements. So it's going to be n n minus one, and so on, up to n minus k plus one. And this again overcount the number of subsets, right? Because one subset, one subset can appear many times. So you have to divide this by Number of you know overcount. Number of times a subset is counted. Okay, and and what is this? So this is uh, a subset of size k, right? So how many how many times a subset of size k is counted inside this? So it's number of times. It's equal to the n number of permutation of this subset, right? Because we take away all the orders, so the number of time it is count when we consider order as relevant is the size of the the, the size of the permutation permutation set. So it's k factorial. So this is the number of subset. Okay. So if you want to count it again, so how many arrangement? So it's in times n minus 1 times n minus 2 up to n minus k plus 1 okay and for each set of psi k how many times is counted so it's k factorial so there are this many so it's going to be n n minus 1 so it minus 1 up to n minus k 
plus 1 over k factorial. But this these terms can be really tend a little bit as n factorial over if you divide this by uh, n minus k factorial you can see that you get this try to do this at home okay so uh, these terms become uh, n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial okay and this number is really important in in such of the way that uh, it has a, a symbol of its own so it's n choose k so we call this n this is the n choose k okay or c n k okay all right so uh, the question of this segment is the following um, we know we know that uh, the number of subset of size k is is this n choose k okay the way we come up with that is to uh, think about how we overcount something but another way if you want to do that uh, uh, another way of thinking about this is that is to use the basic principle of counting okay uh, so my question is this uh, can, can you imagine can you design uh, experiments so that by using the basic principles of counting we can come up with uh, we can compute we have a formula for the number of subsets of size k in the same way as we did uh, here so we want to show that the number of the subset of size k oop, is is this right so it's uh this is n choose n factorial over, over n minus k factorial divided by k factorial right so we want to argue about this using the basic principle of counting Okay, so can can you do that? So that's the question. Okay, think about it. See you later.